Brandon attacking it. Prime all right. There's Kelly from way downtown. Boat right. There's that speed you spoke of and dipping under. Beautiful move. The bucket. A chance at a three-point play. Now playing with speed is what UConn wants to. Seifert lost it, and now Gafai picks up the air and pass. Maybe they got together all week because they've been in the New York can play zone against Connecticut. That's where they got into big trouble against Seton Hall. That's going to be a run out. Boatwright rising up and sending it in. Well, right now it's not Eastern Washington's defense that's a problem for them. It's their offense. They're unable to get anything going and running their offense about 30. Leads Eastern Washington just over 19 a game. And Ryan Boatwright right past Cypher. That's confidence right there. The deluxe. And that's down on the other end. A strong move to the bucket right there. Shabazz Napier averaging 15 and a half a game. Flared up, but obviously feeling pretty good today. DeAndre Daniel Joyce using the window. And here comes Omar Calhoun. Wild shot. Stays with it. Years rebounding in traffic. Shabazz Napier, ice water in his veins, giving Connecticut the lead again. That's a long two. Ryan Boatwright, man. Milkovich. Garrett Moon had it blocked, going to stay with Eastern Washington. Well, again, he's not afraid, and they've been here preparing all week. There's a foul. I want to go on Milkovich, I believe. There. A little transition basketball, a little pick and roll basketball. Should have probably pulled the ball out and found that extra man coming in transition. Oh, beautiful feed, but a great block by Giffey on Joyce. There. Connecticut. Napier draws contact. And the foul on Drew Brandon going to shoot two is Shabazz Napier. Well, Napier is why well, nobody did that better. I mean, when you go back in the annals of professional basketball, Clyde Frazier. His era. Talk about how he still. UConn looking to run again. Get five from way downtown. Eels get five. Buries the three. And that brings Jim Hayford off the Eastern Washington bench. Jim Hayford's had a week to prepare for, for Gannett themselves on the wing. But East Washington has to find a way to break that initial perimeter pressure. Boy, Gaffai, Car this is Brandon. Joyce losing it. Gaffai. And Napier gliding in to rebound. Seifert can't finish. Napier. Oh. Second chance, third chance from Giffey. Oh, good hustle, good energy. Looked like a couple fouls there, but nothing called by Giffey, though. Always in the right spot. Beautiful pick and roll, and Phil Nolan is hammered by Venky Joyce on the way to the bucket. Phil Nolan, a 67% free throw. You know, I'm sure there's other areas. Napier dumping down to Daniels. Beautiful two-man game. That's about reading the defense, and he had the open shot. Mismatch. Nolan going to work. Quite a bit over the last couple of years, but he seems to be 7% from the line. Defense won't get it done. Just a series of dribble handoffs, and then UConn will take advantage. Hassan Kroma attacking, cutting in off the wing. First two points. Brandon doesn't even draw iron. Mid-range, Calhoun. He does not want to leave. He's having too much fun. DeAndre Daniels 
hammered. He's going to shoot two. Well, we love Kevin Ollie. He's done an unbelievable. Kevin Ali, 13 years in the NBA, 11. It's very tough to find somebody to replace. Before that three-pointer, he's got five points now for Eastern Washington. DeAndre Daniels up on the rim. And Eastern Washington, a little pop back in their step defensively. What a move. Shabazz Napier kissing it in off the window and a chance. At a conventional three-point play. Well, you're going to have a little pop in your stance defensively, but you can't overextend against this guy because seemingly over the last two years, whenever Connecticut needs it, he thought he should have taken it. Uh, Tyler Harvey out of control. Leads to a breakout the other way. Chroma trailing, and White Napier so aware of everything going on out on the floor. So aware and so un unselfish and so confident. That That's... An example of teaching for Kevin Ali is going to have to get to the film room. Right here, slashing. There's Philip Nolan on the offensive glass. Bucket and the foul. Well, these are plays that Philip Nolan has to and needs to make to be a force in the American Conference as they move forward. You know, big high. Now on Eastern Washington. Philip Nolan finishes. Make sure they do not fall asleep on the three point shooters. Beautiful. Acceleration by Napier and then dumping to Philip Nolan. UConn now on a 10-3 run. A little bit because I understand that Joyce can put the ball on the deck to the rim. Okay, so get an early look at SMU and their improved Memphis in October. You have got a chance to chat. To back out. Omar Calhoun from the right side. That's what, that's what Kevin Ali wants to see from Omar Calhoun. Well, he has played a very good game today. He's been in good spots on the and Omar Calhoun has answered. Milkovic, another big bucket. And right there's another three. And a steal. UConn, four on one. Napier behind the back. And Niels Giffey rising up and sending it in. Well, this play again, though, was started by Omar Calhoun in his feistiness on the defensive end, not known as an aggressive defense. National. Becky Joyce. The offensive rebound, but boy, look at Niels Gaffey coming over from the weak side. I think very active in the lane today on the glass and on the offensive end as well. Scary. Episode they thought that he had appendicitis see Boston College in Maryland went over the Big Ten and in Indiana SEC Florida and then Washington from the Pac-12 is lead 76 to 59 Eastern Washington He's on campus everyone says well, it's a great time of year because of the game as they head towards The con so he has that resource to draw back on I'll tell you what Samuel Watts not close, Tokstorf 